Family, how y'all doing? Like my hat? Y'all don't understand. It took everything in me to get my ass out here and record. It took everything in me. I really just have not been feeling like recording. Uh, my birthday was Saturday, and I actually had planned to make a, a video on my birthday and come and like um, just connect with y'all. And Saturday morning, 1022, I woke up and I did not want to get out of the bed. I stayed in the bed till probably about 11 o'clock. <laughs> I ended up going out Saturday night. I was in St. Petersburg, had a nice time. And then Sunday, I realized I didn't even take no pictures. I just don't give a shit these days. I didn't... <laughs> And I was just like, damn, I don't even have no birthday pictures in my cute dress or nothing. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I want to talk about this shift that's happening, because that's what I feel like I'm going through, um, a vibrational shift in my energy. Um, The first thing that I'll be saying, I'll say that I have been experiencing is the ringing in the ear that started back. Like the whole summer, I didn't experience ringing in my ear not one time. It wasn't until I came back here and made the first video after I was gone for those months. Right after that is when I started getting the high pitched ringing in my ear. So I don't know, this could be the higher self communicating with me. Yes, Nadia, get your ass out here and record these videos. Or it could just be, um, um, you all raising my vibration because I truly believe that communicating with y'all this energy exchange or you know like um, you guys are doing things or sending me good vibes and <clears throat> that was the reason for that um I believe the the shift or how the shift started in my energy and that um, ringing in the air the ringing in the air has um it like is even startling me lately because I'll be like doing something or talking to somebody and then it'll just hit me in the air and it'll be so loud that I'll just jump and people are like, you okay? <laughs> and I can't really go into details explaining it because, you know, most people don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. But, um, yes, um, the ringing in the air has been happening quite a bit, which I know is uh, a result of a shift in my energy, my higher self. Um, that's one of the things I've been experiencing. I've also been feeling very vulnerable lately. Very vulnerable. Man, I hope this wind don't destroy my video. Crying easily for no real reason or not a reason that you would normally cry for. Um, and I know that we can't and we shouldn't try to resist that or try to avoid crying or hold it back or, or anything because that's purging that's release that's healing to allow yourself to cry and I'm not even somebody that cries a lot so um yes I mean I would be crying and I'd be like I don't even know why I'm crying I'm so sick of myself sometimes y'all <laughs> lord Okay, so fam, aside from the um, feeling vulnerable, crying easily, um, God, my mind is just like drawing blanks. The um, ego, loss of ego or depression maybe. Um, I feel like I've never been a person who feel like I ever go through depression, but I feel like I've been having bouts of it that's just like for a few minutes at a time. Like, like I'm, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> this shit is for the birds. No, no, actually the birds don't want that shit. So it's not for the birds either. That's why they up there. Okay. But I'm sick of this shit. Like, I'm just like, just annoyed with life. I swear, if it wasn't for my daughters, for my girls, I don't know where I would be. Not suicidal or anything. That's something I, I never, I'm never going there. I may just feel like I don't want to be on this damn planet anymore, but not suicidal. But if it wasn't for my girls, I don't know where the hell I would be right now. I really don't. I 
wouldn't care. I'll be on some some gypsy vibes, just like floating around, living in a car. I don't give a shit. Like, that's what I would be doing if I didn't have my girls. But I gotta have some stability for my babies, right? So, um, yes, that's how I've been feeling as well. Like, I'm just sick and tired of this shit. Um, little small bouts of depression. And I know that everything, I know y'all, many of you are gonna be connecting with me on this because we are like so, con it's, it's insane. Some of the things that you all say to me and we're like going through the same thing, it's like that, that frequency, we're just like drawn to each other. Um, you know, I'm starting to think that some of what I'm experiencing has to do with this Moldavite. So I, you know, the last time I was wearing the Moldavite, um, my relationship ended. The, the Moldavite is a stone of transformation, right? And so the first time I wore it, I put together the Moldavite and the Fluorite. And that was, um, yeah, it kicked my ass. Listen, I won't, I don't regret it ever. Uh, the changes that it bring are necessary changes. Um, the, the transformation of Moldavite is something that is needed, but it's probably just something that you don't want because of, it just doesn't feel good, right? The Moldavite will remove the things from your life that are not for your highest good. So that's what the Moldavite is all about. So that was my first experience with it. Now I've been wearing, I put, I paired together, and it's been about a week. I, I wrapped these and put them together last week. I've been pairing these two and wearing them, three, and put them, wearing, wearing them together. Moldavite, the green one. Fluorite is the, not fluorite, um, tanzanite is the purplish one and a piece of um, Herkimer quartz. It's a quartz, but it's Herkimer is the name of it. So I don't know if it, it, it could, I really think these, this could play a part in the ego loss that I'm feeling or the bouts of depression. I feel like um, when I went through the first ego death that I felt, it was... It, it, it just made me feel like I could see every flaw in myself and just like, just not a good feeling. It's like you just see all your shadow side and that's all you see. And it's just not fun because you just don't, you don't have your ego protecting you to feel good about yourself and make excuses for stuff. So it's almost like this loss of ego just kind of like, just makes me feel like I ain't shit. And it's not... <laughs> That's how it, it makes you feel. And anybody who knows what I'm talking about, they'll understand. You feel like you ain't shit. Like, like you, like I said, you see all the darkness within yourself. And it's almost like that is what you're focused on. It's only because of the loss of the ego. So that's something that I feel like I've been feeling. And um, I do think it's the Moldavite uh, plays a part in it. Um, I did some research on tanzanite, which um, is very calming. So I think that it goes well with the um, the Moldavite and the Herkimer. But it's 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 giving me a little, you know, a few slaps, you know. And um, yeah, doesn't feel that good. But guess what? I don't run away from change and from healing and from growth because I already know and if any of you have been through anything you will not understand that the only way to get through a lot of this is to go through it and so there's no avoiding it because it's going to come based on it's going to show its face no matter how much you try to avoid it so yes um I don't run away from healing I don't run away from growth I don't run away from anything that uh, takes work okay I, I don't run from that I'm not I'm not afraid of, of going through it because I know it's gonna make me better in the end um, another thing that I'm noticing that's happening is people that I feel like have come or are coming into my life with no good intentions and I don't know if my intuition is just on point but I feel like I'm just seeing through it and it's almost it almost seems to me like 
the universe, ancestors, who, whoever you want to say is doing this. It's, it's almost like it is giving people the opportunity to show, the, to show you who they really are. That's what I feel like is happening. You, people are, you are, you're getting to see who people really are. The universe is, is setting things up to put you in certain situations so you can really see who's around you, who's for you, who's a friend, who isn't, you know? And I feel like um, it's like I'm seeing them really, really quickly now. You know what I mean? Like, be not really quickly, not, not super fast, but it's like that, you know, that um, healing, sweet side of me that just wants to see the beauty and good in everyone, even when ain't no damn beauty and good to see. Well, it's probably there, but it's hard to see it, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm seeing it. And it's like, even though there's parts of me that gets annoyed with people like this, because it's like, if your intentions are not good with me, leave me the fuck alone. That, that's, that's really how I feel. But then this side of me that actually is happy about it because then you know how to handle people. You know how to treat them accordingly when you really see who they are, right? You know, sometimes when you're dealing with people, it's a test. It's a test. Sometimes the question is, do you really want what you say you want? Do you really want healthy connections? Do you really want true love? Do you really want true friends do you really want he like do you really want it because if you do you're not going to allow certain people in your energy and you know damn well who they are like don't lie to yourself you know when people are truly for you you know it's not that hard to figure it out but if you really want good shit then you got to make room for it and so sometimes I feel like you're being tested with certain people. You know what I'm saying? Let them come in with their little, you know, games and, uh, you know, sneaky shit. And what you're going to do is you're going to either remove yourself, detach, or you're going to keep allowing yourself to be uh, surrounded by energy that is not for your highest good. So sometimes it's a test, you know, to see how far you've come. A lot of time it's because good things are coming and, you know, universe got to see where's your mind, where your mind at. Are you ready for it or are you ready to keep repeating the same type of cycles with the same type of people? So that hasn't been a lot of fun, but that's what's going on. And I really want to, like, I've made excuses or been making excuses to not record. Because, like, I'm not, I don't have anything positive to share with anybody, so I'm not making no video. But then it's like, it's not always about sharing something positive. It's sharing what you're experiencing, period. So people can understand they're not the only one. We don't have to be out here faking, acting like everything's so grand and great in our lives when we know it's not. Okay? I mean, for the most part, life is sweet right we're comfortable roof over my head food you know all those things that you to be grateful for yes but on the other hand there are some things that you're just tired of in this world you know and in this life but um i just wanted to come out here and, and just share a little something with you all because i i feel like pushing myself out of my comfort zone and out of just this excuses for not doing this and not doing it just push myself out of there sometimes when you sometimes when you don't want to do something you need to do it you just need to push yourself and sometimes you don't want to do something and it's okay to just sit back and relax but at some point you got to you got to do something you got to make a move create some change and so that's why I'm out here today today just to just to say that to you Hopefully that means something to somebody. I guess I'm about to go back into my dungeon. I'm going to 
gonna get, I'm getting out every now and again. I do stuff, but um, for the most part, I'm just going to allow myself to continue to go through this transformation, whether it's brought on by the shift that's happening in my life, the Moldavite, the ethers, whatever you want to blame for it. Um, and that's it, fam. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to share a little something with you all and make some kind of video and reach out because I've been feeling bad that I don't record. And um, I'm just going to allow myself to find the right words to share and just let it flow. So that's why I'm here. And I'm done with this video, fam. I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Peace and blessings.